Shai, I know you're you're in the space sector. I've heard you talk about Rocket Lab a bit, Redwire. How do you, what do you make of AST Space Mobile? Yeah, so AST Space Mobile, if you guys aren't aware of what they do, they are essentially, uh, I mean, I like to call them American Tower of Space. So I think the first thing you know about AST Space Mobile is the fat partnerships they have. Like, they have the biggest partnerships in telecom. at t Verizon, Vodafone. Telefonica, uh, I always butcher the same Rakuten. Either way, every big dog in the telecom space partners is partnering up with them. And yeah. these aren't just handshake deals. Like these are deep structural integrations with what is going to make ASTS a core component of the global connectivity infrastructure. So like once a mobile network um, commits to ASTS, like switching to another provider would just be so complicated, so costly, and it's going to make AST TS, not just like a service provider, but an essential long-term partner. And this logic kind of applies to the growing list of government contracts. Like there's going to be a ton, like it's recent designation of a prime contractor for the space development agency is a perfect example of that. So it's not just consumer connectivity, like ASTS is securing a massive foothold in national security. And that has a law of runway, especially in a Trump led presidency where Elon has a ton of space exposure through Starlink and SpaceX mm -hmm. and like high tide raises all boats. Like I think ASTS is like, if they, they can deliver on the promises they have in, the, in their estimates, this is a $50 billion company in a couple years.